Hi, I'm Jeff, and you want to know about different functions in Microsoft Excel. Now, one of the most powerful features of Excel as a spreadsheet application is that you don't just have to put data, actual values, into any particular cell. You can put functions or formulas, uh, which draw data from other places, like other cells, and make new values based on that. If you update those values, that value will update automatically. You can see here that I've got a simple spreadsheet. I've got some numbers in it, 4, 7, 12. If I go over to here, I can make a function. Now, remember that functions always start with an equal sign. So first type equals, and then most functions are capitalized words, all caps. So I'm going to use the sum function, S-U-M, to add things. I'm going to add in parentheses. I have to type the parentheses for every function, even if you don't put anything in them. You actually, should, you actually need to write them. You can leave them blank, but uh, Microsoft uh, Excel will actually warn you if something should be in there. Now in here, I'm going to just refer to cells. I can refer to cells by their column letter and their row number. For instance, A1 is, the, is where the 4 is. You can see that it actually highlights the 4 now. I'm going to put a comma, and I'm going to put C1. And you see that it highlights where the 12 is, because that's in cell C1. If I hit Enter now, you can see that the value of E1, where I was just typing, is A1 plus C1. The sum of A1 and C1, 16. That's correct. Now, it's not too hard to change this to do other things, too. Instead of a comma, I could put a colon. And if I do that, you can see that it stretches the highlight all the way from A1 through B1 to C1. Colon means range. It means go all the way along here, and in this case, sum all of them. If I hit Enter, it gives me the sum total of all, all three cells, 4, 7, and 12, 23. There are lots of other functions. You can actually use uh, product, which multiplies things. I'm going to multiply A1 by B1, and it gives me a 28, which is correct. Uh, you can also uh, use the asterisk uh, for multiplication. You can use the slash for dividing. You can use uh, plus for sum instead of using the functions. And they, of course, a dash for minus, uh, which, by the way, is uh, pretty much what you're going to use generally because there's uh, yeah, a hidden function for that one, apparently. Uh, but the useful part about functions is that you're always going to be able to have those values update on the fly whenever you change other values that feed into them. Uh, it helps you keep your spreadsheets in order, helps you keep your data in order, lets you know what you need to know. I'm Jeff, and this is all about different functions in Microsoft Excel.